Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. When people notice I have some experience with directional drilling, they often ask me, how is it possible to drill curves? There are different options. One way to drill curves is the use of a steerable downhole motor. A downhole motor provides rotation to the drill bit, and a steerable downhole motor is such a motor that is not straight. I hope you can see that in this model here. It has a tilt. Now, if you operate this motor in the rotary mode with string rotation, the tilt rotates with the entire drill string and the assembly will drill straight ahead. But if we stop drill string rotation, this is what we call the sliding mode, in which only the drill bit continues rotating. Of course, the tilt on the motor then constantly points in the same direction. As a result, the assembly will drill a curve in the direction of that tilt. Cool. So we can create any desired wall part by just combining rotary and sliding sections, as you can see behind me. In principle, we can drill anywhere. When we want to drill a curve section, we have to stop drill string rotation, adjust the bent on the motor up, down, left or right, and then drill the curve. In any case, we need to adjust the tilt on the motor in the required direction. Experts say we need to orient the tool face of the motor. But wait a minute. We cannot see the directional motor down in the deep bore hole. How can we know the rotation of the bent of the motor? If we stop string rotation, the bent will be pointing in a random direction. Nobody at the surface will be able to tell us which direction it is. But relax, there's a solution for this problem. It is called an MWD system. MWD, abbreviation of measuring while drilling. It is a device placed above the directional motor. Amongst other measurements, it tells us direction of the tilt on the motor, that is the two-phase orientation. I have here a little model. It's from an old MWD system, but you can still see how everything works. At the top of this MWD system, there's a compass, which we can always use to measure direction we are drilling, that is the azimuth. On the bottom of the tool, we have a plumb, which shows us the actual inclination of the bow hole. It tells us if you are drilling vertically or with an inclination of 45, 90 degrees, or etc. So with such an MWD tool, we always know where we are because it continuously measures the direction and the inclination along the well part. All right, but now what about the measurement of the orientation of the tilt on the motor? For this purpose, there's a rotary sleeve installed in the MWD tool, which is a bit heavy on one side, so that this side always points to the center of the earth. You can easily see it here on this model. I have another model to show you. In the housing of the MWD tool, there's a sleeve, which is fixed in a way that it can freely spin in the housing. Then there is a little weight attached to one side of the sleeve, and therefore the sleeve always lies on its heavy side at the bottom of the tool. So the sleeve acts as a stable reference point so we can easily evaluate how far the outer housing of the MWD tool is rotated against the vector of gravity. As our MWD tool is firmly screwed on top of the directional motor, we can always determine which direction the tilt on our motor is pointing, upwards to the right, downwards, or to the left. In this way, the MWD system enables us to adjust the bend on the directional downhole motor to drill a curve in the desired direction. Today, the state of art of measuring devices no longer work mechanically like this model, rather electronically. If you open a set of art MWD now, you only see lots of circuit boards and electronic components in it. There are so many electronics installed, and they require electrical power to work. We therefore need a little downhole power plant to generate electricity in the borehole. This is generated by a mud-driven turbine. When drilling mud is pumped through the drill string, it hits the blade of the turbine wheel, sets it in rotation. This rotation drives an alternator, which generates the electric energy from the MWD system. The MWD system also includes a data transmission system that sends information to the surface. The computers in the directional driller's cabin receive, process, evaluate the signals, and display them on the screen. With this, real-time information the directional driller can properly place the borehole in the exact target zone. If you want to learn more details on directional drilling, come to our lecture, Drilling Engineering 1, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.